When are summer socks appropriate? What exactly are no-show socks? Are they the same as ankle socks? Are they the same as sock liners? In fact, in hot weather, can you just skip wearing socks altogether or will it damage your shoes? In today's video, gents, I'm gonna answer those questions and a lot more as I share with you everything you need to know on summer socks. So today's video started off as a question from a viewer, Chad, he's in the Midwest, he's a wealth planner. He reached out and said, you know what, Antonio, I'm meeting people more and more outdoors. It's really casual. He's wearing these shorts with polos, feeling he's looking pretty good, but he had questions about socks. Oftentimes he's wearing really nice leather sneakers, occasionally slipping in some loafers, but his question is, when is it appropriate to wear these no-show socks? Should he even wear socks at all? It's a great question. And here in a minute, I'm gonna get into all the different types of summer socks and when you should wear them, when they're appropriate. But first, First up, let's address the question, why does a man need to wear socks with shoes? In a nutshell, the purpose of socks is to protect your bigger investment, your shoes. When you spend $500 on a really nice pair of loafers, you don't want them to only last one season because when you're wearing them without socks, you're sweating directly into the shoe, leaving a whole lot of bacteria and really the shoes start to decay. They start to break down sooner than they would if you wore socks that would absorb more of the moisture. We do a better job of keeping that bacteria closer to the feet. So a man always has to wear socks with shoes? Not exactly. There are shoe types out there, maybe made from a perforated leather or a leather substitute, in which actually they work great without socks. So they're gonna actually allow the feet to breathe a bit more, especially in really hot weather, or if you're gonna be slipping the shoes on and off, going down in the pool, going to the beach. There are also particular styles like espadrilles, sandals, in which, yes, you don't wanna wear socks with those, and it makes sense because of the design of the shoe. So for a pair of shoes made to last only a few seasons, socks can be optional. But for shoes that can last 10 to 20 years, you want to probably take better care of them and that's exactly what socks are going to do. And this applies to casual shoes as well. Those made from a higher quality material such as leather that have a nice leather inner lining, I'm going to say pretty much require socks. But if you want to wear a pair of canvas sneakers that you could throw into the wash without socks, I don't think it would be super comfortable, but you could do it. That being said though, as a former collegiate cross country runner who went through a phase of not wearing socks because he thought it was cool, I will tell you that if you do not wash your shoes regularly, you will have your roommate point out that your shoes smell so bad they are not allowed in the room. True story. Now, gents, I know you've got an opinion, so I want to hear from you down in the comments. Where do you stand on this debate? No socks or socks? What do you do during the summer? All right, gents, so now let's talk about the different summer sock styles and when they're appropriate. First up, we have the no-show sock, also known as the invisible sock. Now, this particular sock style is relatively new and is one of my personal favorites because what it's able to do in terms of functionality and style. So functionally, the no-show sock, the invisible sock, as the name implies, allows you to wear it with a low-cut shirt shoe without it being seen. So basically when you wear this sock, it looks like you're not wearing socks. However, it's there and it's doing the job of protecting the inside of your shoe. At the same time, it's making the shoe more comfortable to wear. Now when I say it's a relatively new design. It's more about it's only been perfected, I think in the last 15 years. And that is because they've had to sew that sock in a particular way that it not only fits the foot very well, but also it'll have adhesives on the inside, which really keep it in place. And that takes us to the drawbacks of this sock, because if it doesn't fit you, properly, if it doesn't have a strong elastic around the bottom of the ankle, and if it doesn't have an adhesive in the back area of the heel, this sock is very likely just to come off whenever you're wearing it. My advice here, go out and try a variety of brands. I found that price isn't always the determinant of quality, really comes on to what brand is going to work with your foot. What you don't want to have is something that keeps slipping off the back of the heel, something that, yeah, that doesn't look good and you don't want to be taking off your shoes throughout the day. Now, because they're a newer style, yes, no-show socks are considered trendy and they're also considered casual, but I do think you can wear them with a wide variety of different pieces of clothing in the right situation. That situation, hot weather. So shorts, of course. Jeans in hot weather, of course. Chinos, performance pants in hot weather, of course. Even a casual suit in hot weather with the right shoes, I think you can pull it off. In fact, the only hot weather situation I can think of that you probably couldn't pull these off with, black tie. Now, gents, in today's video, I covered a lot. I don't know if you know this, but over at my website, realmenrealstyle.com, I've got tons of free infographics. I break out eBooks to explain, yes, everything from socks to how to dress in casual weather to how to understand sunglasses and find the right 
right pair for you. Now, gents, you want to go over and grab these ebooks today because I will warn you, I pull a lot of the ebooks down. The reason is I'm updating them, I'm wanting to improve them, and so all the ebooks are not always available. So make sure to use the link down in the description to see what's available and to grab it right now. Next up, we've got sock liners and ankle socks. Now, technically, these are two different types of socks. In fact, you're going to see some performance socks out there that go up to the ankle and have a little bit of a tab on the back end. I'm going to throw those in as well. Now, the distinguishing feature here from the no show is notice how much farther they go up, right below the ankle and in some cases right over the ankle. Now, performance ankle socks, you'll notice they actually curve oftentimes right underneath the ankle and at the back and the front, they have a little bit of a tab. This is made specifically to hug that part of the foot so when you're out running or performing in an athletic event that you're not going to have to worry about the sock tucking in under the foot. Now, ankle socks have been around for a long time. They're a menswear classic, especially in casual wear. Why? Because if you're going to wear a pair of sneakers, you don't want to, I mean, you could go no show with these, but the problem is you're going to have this part right here rubbing against your foot. For a lot of guys, they don't like that feeling. It can rub them raw. They just simply want to have a sock here, but they don't want to have a high sock. So the ankle sock comes in and actually does a good job of protecting the ankle from the shoe. Traditionally, ankle socks have been very casual. You can, they're fine to wear with running shoes, with sneakers. You probably though would not wear them with loafer. There's something off about it. It just doesn't look right. I would recommend if you want to wear socks that go up a bit higher, then simply just go for a lightweight pair of mid-calf socks. So, of course, you can wear ankle socks with shorts, but when it comes to jeans, any type of pants, and especially any suit, I would recommend going for a mid-calf sock. So, what is the mid-calf sock? So, as the name describes, this is going to be one of the more traditional socks that we see out there that goes up about the area of the mid-calf. Of course, there are socks that are a little bit lower, a little bit higher. We're not going to get into them in this video, but I'm going to say with the mid-calf, one of the advantages you have here with it being one of the most common socks out there on the market is a wide variety of materials. Now, with the other two styles of socks, we didn't talk about materials, and that's because the vast majority of them are made from cotton, which makes sense. It's cotton dominates when it comes to socks. It's inexpensive, it's durable, it gets the job done. But when you get to mid-calf socks, you're going to have a few other options. You're going to see wools out there, you're going to see a lot more synthetics, and of course, you're going to see cotton. Now, this applies to any style of sock, but understand there isn't a perfect material. It's more about what do you want from the material and how has it been sewn and what properties are you going to get from it. So, wool, a lot of people, oh, that sounds incredibly hot. Well, there are lightweight, very merino wools out there that are actually very breathable and they do a great job of wicking away moisture. And if you're going to go hiking, a lot of people know the benefits of wool socks when you're hiking. On the other hand, synthetic materials, there are many I would say stay away from, especially the cheaper ones, but I know certain companies make performance socks, which are specifically designed, again, for hiking. If you're going to be putting on a lot of miles, if you want something that's incredibly durable, maybe look to a synthetic. That being said, for the vast majority of you all, cotton is going to be perfect. Why? It's going to be the right price and you're going to have tons of options out there. And if you see a little bit of synthetic material mixed in with it, like spandex, understand it's usually there to give it a little bit more stretch. So, not a bad thing. So, what can you wear mid-calf socks with? Well, pretty much anything except shorts, unless you want to set off a fashion statement, which is cool, do your own thing. But yeah, when it comes to jeans, when it comes to chinos. Yeah, mid-calf socks are perfect. When it comes to wearing a suit, when it comes to black tie, mid-calf socks are where it's at. So, what video to watch next? How about the ultimate guide to men's shorts? In this video, gents, I explain the exact length that you want in proportion to your body. It's a detailed video. So, if you are wearing shorts, I want you to look good. I don't want you to look like an oversized kid. So, check out this video, guys. I will link to it down in the description.